up to date. It means that it is current. But if you say update, if we update, that means that's a verb. So, for example, um, um, every so often I go online to look at my bank account to update my balance, to make it current. Yeah, up, update the book. So if I wanted to um, use it as an adjective, I would say I go online to see if my bank book is up to date, current. But that's a, that's a modifier. But I, if I wanted to use it as a verb, I would say I go online to update my bank book. Mm -hmm. out, of, out of date means not current. About what? How how do we use Appreciate. Appreciate. Um, we say it pronunciation. Uh, pre. She ate. Ah, uh, pre she ate. Ah, uh, ah, uh, pre she ate. Appreciate. So I did up. Appreciate. <laughs> to to appreciate to appreciate means to be grateful for something. Sure, that would be that would be correct. Uh huh. Or I could say I appreciate your questions. I like you to ask questions. Uh, Sure. Uh huh. That would be correct. Yeah. Mm hmm. When you you say that I you appreciate someone when they have done something for you, for um, the the lady who brings me coffee, I say, oh, uh, I appreciate this. I'm grateful for it. I'm thankful for it. So if you appreciate something, you are thankful for it. Thankful. I appreciate is a word. No. Uh, yes, yes, this is a verb. I appreciate the coffee that the, the lady brings me. Uh -huh. I am thankful for the coffee that someone brings me. Shall we stronger? Appreciate stronger. Than thankful? About the same. About the same. Uh, it's about the same. Um, we can turn this into a noun. Noun. Into a noun. I mean, we can turn it in. It's a verb. I appreciate the coffee that she brings me. Okay, verb. Um, I can turn it into a noun. By changing the AT. Swati, that crop. I can change it into a noun by just making the word appreciation. 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 Appreciation is a noun. So um, when, when, when the lady brings me coffee, uh, I want to show my appreciation. I, I want to show my th that I'm thankful. I show my appreciation. So this is a noun.
and that's a verb. Verb? Now. Now, I can turn it into an adjective too. Uh, if I want it to be an adjective, Uh, if I want to turn it into an adjective, so the same word, the same word can be a verb. It can be a noun, or it can be an adjective. So, when the lady when the when the lady brings me coffee, um, I appreciate the coffee she gives me. Okay, as a noun, I show my appreciation to her. Okay, that's a noun. If I want to make it a ver if I want to make it an adjective, I say. Uh, I am appreciative. I am appreciative. So what? So uh, pre she and this is sort of ative. Appreciative. Appreciative. So the same the same root word, the same It can be a noun, it can be a verb, or it can be an adjective. And it means the same thing as being thankful. And I, 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 I could say that um, I thank the lady who brings me coffee. I am thankful for the lady that brings me coffee. I want to show my thankfulness for the lady who brings me coffee. All same thing, same meaning. Yeah. Yeah. So even, even before class begins, even before class begins, we've gone over some idioms and we've learned a new word. We haven't even started class yet. <laughs> um, do you know the idiom? This is an a, a, a interesting idiom. An idiom... In the loop? You know that idiom? You know, you know what a loop is? Yeah. If I said, um, I guess I'm not in the loop, what does that mean? When um, you have to remind me very often, you have to remind me when our Watt here has uh, holidays. You know, certain days are holidays every week. You know when they are, right? You have to tell me because I'm not in the loop. Yeah. If, if you're in the loop, then you, you have inside information about what's going on. If you're not in the loop, then you don't know what's going on. Someone has to tell you because they have information that you don't have. So, so I, I rely on you to tell me when there are uh, holidays, when there are prayer days at the temple, because I'm not in the loop. You are in the loop. You know, you have inside information that I don't have. Okay, in the loop. And it just means that you're... you're uh,
you're, you're inside, you have information, you're inside, I don't have information, so I'm outside the loop. So it's me and uh, we are inside the loop. Yeah, uh -huh. if, if you're in the loop, it means that you, you know information that other people don't know. So I am out of the loop. I am out of the loop. Okay? It's an idiom. Literally, literally, loop is, you know, to go around and around and around and around. But an idiom is a phrase that means something different than the words individually mean. And so, in the loop. That's a new idiom. So. It's mean inside? Inside. Yeah, it means, in the loop, means that you are, you, you have, uh, well, literally, the words mean that you are, there is a loop and you're inside the loop. But the idiom means that you have information, you have inside information that other people don't have. And if you are out of the loop, then that means that you do not have information that everyone else has. Yeah. How big the loop? Oh. One, one in country or in Bangkok? In well, it, that depends on context. So like if, um, on a lot of the customs here in, Tha in Thailand, it's a big loop. You know, when we talk about the culture of Thailand, you're 